Hi guys, Todd here. I have a script. Well, I don't really. Um, there is a chat from a, a company. That, the link will be up at the top. It's uh, ezigonline.de in Germany. And they got in touch with me a while ago and said that they wanted to send me something on for review, which was called The Russian. Now, um, we'll get this out of the way at the very start. This is a clone. It's a clone of the KFUN V3.1. Total clone. Um, and there we go, I've said it. And uh, whatever your opinions are on clones, I have mine. Uh, you'll have yours. Uh, but I'm not going to hide the fact and I'm not going to pretend that it's not a clone. Um, we'll just have to... I'm just here to review it and to show it to you. It's up to you at the end of the day whether you decide to buy it or not. But as with all videos, uh, if I don't like it, if I find issue or fault with it, I'll let you know. But uh, now that's on the, out the way, we'll, uh, we'll move on. Um, now, you'll have seen uh, some photos at the start there and it would show you the device broken down and then its component parts and what comes in the kit. Uh, and we'll get into that. I'll show you it again and uh, no, I've got a pilot, I mean honestly I've never, I've never had this from a, a supplier of any description before uh, going to this much detail. Um, it's built by a company in China which is called UCT, Upper Class Technology. Um, there's a drip tip adapter that comes with it, blah blah blah, we know this. Um, it's all stainless steel, uh, apart from the clear tank, which is Macrolone. Uh, diameter 22 millimeter, length 82 millimeter. Air hole is 2.5 millimeter, which you can adjust the draw on. Um, prices, uh, he's looking, he reckon it's it's going to be about 85 pounds uh, for Great Britain. And uh, two years warranty with it. And uh, they'll be available at uh, ezigonline.de. Um, just clarifying that. That's the, once again, the link's up in the top. Um, now, is there anything else that I should really point out here uh, with this? No, there's not. Uh, I love this. Look at this. This is a breakdown of the, you know, all the dimensions of the different pieces and whatnot. Pretty smart. Uh, all things considered, you know, getting that kind of information for me is uh, it's outstanding. Um, right. Now, what we'll do is I'll shift the camera. I'll show you all the bits that come in the box. Uh, now, I've done uh, reviews on the KFUN V3 and the V3.1. Um, and I've shown tutorials on them. Uh, I will do a rebuild in this video as well. I'll, I'll try it a different way for once. Uh, I have my own way that I prefer rebuilding the KFUN, but I'll give another version a try. Uh, and we'll we'll take it from there, and I'll let you know what I think at the end. And this is me keeping my mouth shut for once. Not like me, but uh, let's get cracking on. Okay, here's the box it comes in. Now, this is a sample piece that I got sent on. Uh, so this is the, the kit that it form will come in. It comes in a magnetic box. Uh, excuse me, but I've been uh, pulling it to bits. But uh, I'll show you everything that comes in it. So we get the needle nose bottle. Now one thing they've stipulated here is that it will take a standard needle. You know, a metal needle fill in valve. It doesn't need a plastic one. I'll come back to that. I'll pop this here. I'll take the box out of the way just now and we'll start up. Right. Sorry. Metal tank section. Uh, we get a, a drip tip with it. We get some wire. Some standard wick. Uh, you get a box of goodies, a little bit of goodies. I'll take that box out of the way just now. And of course, we'll shift this all out of the way. We get this as well. 
So let's get in for a, a little zoom up at this. So you see it's the Russian. Um, I don't think, I don't know how that's on there. It, it's not engraved in there, that's for sure, because my nail isn't catching on anything. Um, but anyway, so it also comes with a serial number. And it's the, if you're used to these devices, you'll recognize that we have the flat head screw there for adjusting the draw. There's the air intake there. And there's the valve for filling. But what we'll do is uh, we'll have a quick look at all the, the bits that come in, in the bag first. Get zoomed in there. Uh, we do get a drip tip adapter. Little screwdriver, which is a Phillips and a flat head. Uh, quite good, these wee things. I have a couple of them. And uh, in the bag, there's a couple of grub screws and Phillips screws and spare o rings and washers. So that's everything that comes in the bag. We'll not be using any of this just now. And we'll take that out of the way and all this out of the way and come back to this. Right. Start top to bottom. Drip tip. And you, know, you can put your drip tip adapter in here and use your standard 510 drip tip. Top cap with an O-ring in there, which is to you know keep this airtight. First section, you can see it's got like a matte kind of look to it. Um, I have to say the threading is absolutely spot on. Um, it really is it's silky smooth. Uh, there's a tank clear section, and remember you have uh, if you don't like the clear, you can have the the metal tank section instead. Um, and then we have the bottom section. Then we have our chimney. And that's us down to the base. And this is standard. Once again, if you're used to the K fund, then you'll be used to this because it's the exact same. Uh, you got your air coming there, uh, your valve where the liquid will come in, uh, positive and negative terminals here. Uh, you've got your channels, you know, for the juice to run up. Um, and I'll take the screw out of the bottom here, which then should allow me to take this off. And there we go. But I don't know if you can. Well, you, I was going to say, I don't know if you can feel it. But, uh, you know, you've got your adjustable 510 pin here, and it's. I've really got to say that it's. It's a well-made bit of kit. It's, this is not uh, crap, for want of a better word. Uh, but I'm going to take all this out of the way. And uh, we're going to set up a silica wick in this and we'll get our vaping. Okay, just to clarify here before we get going, for those that aren't familiar with this device, you have a, a positive connection here and a negative connection here uh, and what will happen is you'll take your silica wick with a coil 
one wire will go underneath this post here, the other wire will go underneath this post here, and the air is drawn up from this hole straight up to your mouth. <laughs> and that's how it works. Now, there's different ways you can do this. You can lay the wick and coil across here and then push it on top. Or you can lay it across like that. Uh, how you do it is entirely up to you. Um, there's a various, I mean, check the videos out. There's lots of ways of doing it. Uh, but, do you know, after thinking about it, I'm going to stick to it and just do what I know works for me. Uh, that way, doing it the way I normally do, I can compare it. And uh, I know it's not just a mistake with uh, coil making on my side. So here we go, as usual, this is, uh, I believe this is point, this is 2 mil uh, silica wick that's come with uh, the device. Uh, so I'll just zoom that out. So the, this is my usual method. I've got, it's like a 10 centimeter long piece of silica. And I just fold it in half, like so. And then I take off, this is a piece of 0 0.2 canthal. And I just place that in the middle, like so. And then I'll just make a few turns. Uh, I'll go for four. So there you go. So I've got one wire facing north and one wire facing south. Like so. And it's got quite a lot of excess wire there. So I'm just going to snip a couple of bits off so that, uh, you know, I've got plenty of room to work with. Now the, the tricky part, as always, is holding this up to the camera while showing you what I'm doing. Get that off my stand. Right, now both screws are, you know, I've backed them off. And we're just going underneath the screw itself. We're not going through that eye down the bottom. Uh, you know, just going underneath there. So we're going underneath the, the screw heads there. Now I'm going across in a diagonal here. So I'm just going to pin this down. <laughs> I always make a mess of this bit. I'll just trap that wire underneath that screw there. Uh, sorry if you can't see that right now, but uh, you get a better look in a second. The wire trapped under there. And I'll just pull that across a bit. I'll just trap the other wire under there. Oops. Now, that's my own fault here. I'm using the wrong screwdriver. The screwdriver that uh, I have just just a little bit too big for the this device. So I'll use the screwdriver that came with it, which I should have been doing from the start. There we go. Now we're all tightened up, so we'll get these wires out of the way. A little wiggle there, and a little wiggle there. Ah, uh, tighten up first, Mark. There we go. Now, now what I want to do now is just get my space and sorted out, tidy that up a wee bit. There we go. Sort the focus out because that's shockingly bad right now. There we go. It's a wee bit scruffy in places. But it'll do me. Now, the important thing here. How you able to see, but that wick is actually sitting on top of the center air hole. Which is not good because that means it's going to short out. Uh, so you don't want that, that's very bad. Um, so what you need to make sure you do 
is, oops, sorry, done in the camera there, is just make sure that you're lifting the coil and wick, just gently prise it up and get it off the metal. Just got to sit just above it. The thing is, if you're doing it this way and you get, uh, let's just say you get a burnt taste when you're vaping, the chances are that you're shorting out somewhere. Um, so be careful with that. And that's that. I'm quite happy with that. That'll do me. Right. Next. Now next, I should put this on a, a device and I should fire it and make sure it's working. But uh, <laughs> he says, I've re rebuilt this so many, rebuilt these things so many times now that it's uh, it's quite frightening, and uh, I'm winging it. So what I'm going to do is take this piece, slide it over, and make sure everything's poking up through the centre. Screw this down. And there we go. Now what we're wanting to do is get the, this wick down in the bottom of that chamber. And so it'll pick up any juice that comes through these two channels. And to do that, just grab my scissors. And I'm quite happy with that. And now I'm just going to take the wicks and see how I've got a space there. And I'll have a space on the other side as well. Well, that's where you want to put these wicks down into. Now, I actually find it easier if you've got a bit of e-liquid on them first. Stops them springing back up. So there's a wee bit of e-liquid on there. I'm just going to push them down. Now, you don't cram them down. Uh, because if you cram them, push them right in there, you can end up blocking these channels off altogether. And you don't want those channels blocked. You just, you know, just tuck those little guys in there and you'll be fine. And make sure that your coil is nice and proud and it's not sitting on the air hole and that's you you're done oh let's fire it on a device all right here we are put it on uh, my nemesis and uh, we'll give it a wee kick and that'll do me nicely uh from there on in it's on with the uh, the tin man's hat um, your chimney pop that on You then have uh, your base section. Tighten that down. I'm going to go for the, the clear window. Oh, I'm going to focus. Sorry, guys. Too busy looking at all the bits I've got lying about here. And then I'm going to pop, pop this on. Make sure the, the O-ring's in there as well. Oh, gunk, jinx, see? That's what I get for blathering. Forgot to put the other section on as well. And that's me. All built up. I'll just stick the drip tip on. The Russian. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, filling this up, they do stipulate, and it does say that uh, this is your filling valve here, this wee hole here, that you can use a regular needle tip bottle. Um, 
uh, yeah, they're the supply one and you can use it. But uh, it just so happens that I have my uh, my little bottles here that I bought a few of. Uh, you know, it's got plastic, plastic needle valve on it. Uh, that are ideal for this kind of device. So, just going to turn it upside down like I usually do. And stick that in there. And start filling away. Now I've got a tilted at about a 45 degree angle here and I'm just squeezing away. Now, I'm going to keep filling. Hopefully you can see the liquid there. Just coming up. And that's when I stop. See the bubble? That's when I stop. Uh, the reason I stop there is because if you overfill it, you're going to have issues uh, with flooding. You don't want to overfill it. And uh, just that little bubble, you'll fill it at a 45 degree angle and, you know, you should be fine. So that's me set up. The only thing we will have to do is once we start vaping, uh, you know, it'll seem really airy, the draw. You'll get a really airy draw. So all you do is you're going to tighten that screw there until you find your preferred draw. So just that little screw there. Let's go for a vape. I just want to put in a quick update here. I did have issues with uh, the original one that was sent to me. Um, they were that the, the drip tip adapter, 510 drip tip adapter, standard drip tips wouldn't fit in it. Uh, it was too tight. Um, also, the channels that were cut in were, they weren't done right, they, they were just wrong. Uh, when you put the chimney over the threading, if you like, it actually blocked the channels off. The channels weren't cut deep enough. And also uh, the valve, uh, filling valve, uh, was not, it's stuck and it wouldn't come unstuck. Um, the pressure rating was just wasn't right. So uh, fed all this back, and uh, and apparently this is stuff they, they knew about because, as I said at the start, the one they sent me was a sample. It was one of only like five samples that had been sent out apparently. Uh, so they have since then sent out to me this, and just to get focused in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that there. But it's just to show that the channel is now spot on. Uh, you know, it's cut right, so the juice will wick through there, no problem at all. Uh, 510 drip tip adapter uh, also arrived as well. Um, they've uprated the, the valve. It's now, I think it was, was it... I could be wrong here. Apparently the original one was four, took four pounds of pressure, but the, the new one takes 14 pounds of pressure. So it's been uprated. Um, sorry, I'm just grabbing a drip tip here. And yeah, drip tip's fine. Uh, so that's that. So I'll just add that in there and uh, We'll get back to the review. So if I mention any of this, the issues later on, it's because uh, the video, the video, this video was actually recorded a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm recording this section two weeks after I recorded the review. That's when I got the updates. But uh, I hope that makes sense. But uh, here we go. Too tight. Uh, now I've put this on my EH Pro with a Fusion SG-1 hybrid converter kit. So it kind of looks like that now. That's about right. Right, let's see if it works. To 
be honest, it works exactly, exactly like I expected it to work. <laughs> uh, there's no two ways about it. It's a, an exact copy of the K-Fun down to the vape. exact same. Uh, bloody brilliant. Uh, I mean it is. It's a <sighs> K-Fun is my favourite revolvable atomizer because I love silica wick in a vape uh, and this is a total duplicate copy, clone, whatever you want to call it. Um, As a device, I can't fault it. Absolutely love it. Uh, I really do. I love. <laughs> oh, this isn't easy. Ugh, right. If I had never seen the K Fun and somebody showed me this, I love the style and I love the way it's called the Russian. Um, I love that. Um, I actually like it in that finish. Uh, I really do like it in that finish. Um, it's an outstanding vape. It's built really well. I mean, it's the threads, the quality, the everything's top notch. And uh, I, I really just that's it. I can't. I can't really say anything else other than that. Uh, I'm just. Uh, Checking something out here. Bear with me a second. Ah, the, did say to me that the the drip tip adapt drip tip adapter that they'd sent on, uh, they thought it was just a wee bit too short, but they have addressed that at the factory apparently, and they're remanufacturing them to make sure the proper 510 connection. Uh, it's just a wee bit tight just now. I'll draw that out. Um, right. You know how much it's going to be. Uh, the sellers up here, um, it's going to be about eighty-five pound. Um, when this video goes live, because uh, I'll have recorded this sometime before it actually goes live, um, you'll be able to buy it. And uh, there may be other resellers in your area. Um, I'm not sure of that, uh, but all in, um, out. Taking the clone thing out of the equation, I can't fault it. I cannot fault it. How you feel about the clone situation, it's entirely up to you what you do with it. But uh, I'd like to thank the guys for sending this on to me to let me have a little go with it. And uh, I did get this free for review. Um, my opinion, as always, is my own. Uh, I've had many of these devices now, and uh, this is, without a shadow of a doubt, on par with the other ones. Uh, but uh, that's me, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers now. Bye.